Hello and welcome back to you in the new lesson. This is Jalachim Kantiwari. In this lesson, we will learn about the 8 mega 32 analog to digital conversion. This is a 8 mega 32 data sheet. You can download it from the internet. The 8 mega 32 have a 8 channel ADC and the ADC is the 10 bit. The ADC is multiplexed with the port A. You can use the port A as the ADC and this ADC is alternate function of the port A. So, this is the 8 pin of the ADC, the ADC 0 to the ADC 7, which is multiplexed with the port A. This is the analog, analog voltage and the analog reference and the analog ground block. Okay. So, there are three options for selecting the analog reference for the ADC and those three options are the analog VCC, analog internal 2.56 volt reference and an external analog reference. And these reference can be select using the reference selection 1 and the reference selection 0 bit of the ADC multiplexer select register. If you select the analog reference 0, this and these bits, that means these two will be deactivated so that if you select the reference selection 1 and the reference selection 0 equal to the 0, then analog reference will be selected. Okay? And if you select this pin as a 1 and this pin as a 0, that means this will be high and this pin if 0, that means the analog VCC will be selected. That means 0, 1 means the analog VCC will be selected as a reference to the ADC block. And if you select the 1, 1, that means the 1, 1 for this, that means the internal 2.56 volt will be selected. And 1 means this CMOS will be on. That means if you select the reference selection 1, and the reference selection 0 equal to 1 that means the internal 2.56 volt reference will be selected for the ADC conversion block. This block is the heart of the ADC. This is the actual the conversion block. So there are two registers which is controlling this conversion block or a conversion logic and those two registers are the ADMAX registers and the ADC SRA register. This is also known as ADC control and status register A and this is known as the ADC multiplexer select register. And both of these registers are 8 bit registers. This ADMAX register is used for the selection of the channel and also the, for the gain selection. And using these two bits can we select the reference. Selecting these bits ADLAR the ADC result adjustment can be selected. Okay, so the actually the ADC is the 10 bit so that ADC stores the result into the two registers and those registers are known as the ADCH and the ADCL. So ADCL is the lower byte registers and the ADCH is the higher byte registers. And if result is the right adjusted, that's been this adjusted. So the lower 8 bit will be stored in the ADCL and the upper 2 bit will be stored in the ADCH. And if result is the left adjusted, that's mean the upper 8 bit will be stored into the ADCH and lower 2 bit will be stored into the ADCL. So these adjustment can be select using the ADLR bit of the ADMUX register. And using the ADSIR registers, you can enable the ADC. So the ADN, that's mean the ADC enable. And you can start the ADC using the ADSC bit of the ADC SRA register. So the, this is the ADC start conversion. Actually, there are two options to start the ADC conversion. One is the ADSC and one is the ADC automatic trigger enable. And this one is the ADC interrupt conversion flag. Okay, so the if conversion has been completed, so the ADC will generate an interrupt 
and that interrupt will notify to the external pin that's when the ADC interrupt has been con complete sorry that means the ADC conversion has been completed okay so it will it will generate an interrupt so this is known as the ADC conversion complete interrupt and these three bit will select the ADC input clock prescaler this is a ADPS2 ADC prescaler 2 ADC prescaler 1 and the ADC prescaler 0 so this is the prescaler block okay so how it works let's understand actually the microcontroller is running on the 16 megahertz but ADC cannot operate up to the 16 megahertz this at mega 32 ADC can operate up to the maximum 250 kilohertz so there must be some frequency divider which divide the frequency before coming to the ADC block so this is performing that clock division options so these are a prescaler we will discuss later this about the this prescaler and this is a trigger selection logic you can select this automatic triggering selection using these three bits that means the automatic trigger selection this is the ADC trigger selection bit 2 to 0 there are three bit which can select the automatic trigger selection there are lots of options available to select the automatic ADC trigger selection such as you can start ADC when output compare match occurs you can start ADC when an external interrupt zero occur you can start ADC when timer overflow occurs and even you can start ADC when ADC conversion completes this is the ADC prescaler block okay so these are the options available for the ADC prescaler okay so if you select the 000, 000 then ADC clock will be divided by 2 and if you select the 0, 0, 1 then ADC will clock will be divided by 4 and if you select the 1, 0 it will be divided by 8 and if you select 1, 1 it will be divided by the 16 and the so on this is the ADC timing diagram ok so here you can see the first conversion is taking a 25 clock cycle it's always the first conversion will always take a 25 clock cycle because when you start the ADC first time then it takes a time because of that the lots of analog circuitry to initialize itself okay that's why it is taking some time to initialize itself and after that it takes only a 13 clock cycle to complete a single conversion in the single ended mode so the uh, starting to the ADC the first you have to enable the ADC so the ADEN okay the enable the ADC then enable the ADC SC okay so the ADC start conversion now it will start the conversion and when conversion will complete then it will enable the ADIF you can see here ADIF will go high okay that's mean you can monitor the ADIF to see whether conversion is complete or not and after the conversion complete result will be placed in the ADCL and the ADCH registers and this is the timing diagram when the first conversion completed and after that when you are performing the conversions okay so the after a first conversion it takes only a 13 clock cycle and the same process will uh, uh, you have to do here so the start enable the ADSC that means the ADC start conversion okay and then wait for a 13 clock cycle then ADIF will automatically go go high and uh, you can monitor this ADIF to see the conversion complete and then after that the result will be placed in the ADCH and the ADCL now you can read this ADCL and the ADCH registers this is the timing diagram for auto triggered conversion okay and if you are using auto triggered conversion then the first clock cycle will take 25 sorry the if you are using this auto trigger conversion the first conversion will take a 25 clock cycle and after that it will take only a 13 clock cycle to complete conversion enable the trigger source that means the select the trigger source okay 
and then the automatic triggering enable enable the ADT okay and then wait for the ADIF when ADIF will go high then read your results into the ADCH and the ADCL registers this is the ADC timing diagram for the free running conversion the same process is here it will always take a 13 clock cycle to complete the conversion when the conversion will complete ADIF will ADIF bit will go high and monitor this ADIF and then after that read the results and please note one more point if you are first reading ADCL then you have to read ADCH otherwise this accessing these register will be blocked okay so please remember if you are reading first ADCL then you have to read ADCH otherwise you cannot start the ADC again thank you so much for watching this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will do ADC assembly programming and will simulate the Proteus simulation